Hello and welcome back to Pirates. So we're going toward the capital, Neketaka. Uh, well, not exactly in a straight line, but we're going there. Uh, well, mainly. And wow, I, I don't know. Maybe the map is even bigger than this, but uh, yeah, it's definitely bigger than uh, I thought at first. Anyway. I don't know why I want to go like this. I just don't want to go in a straight line and miss things. That's not really my style. Karatapu channel. Old Binder Sanctum. Okay, let's check it out. We know for a fact that we did run into the Steel Preacher. And that was not something we can deal with. So we might need to stick inside the initial uh, starting uh, area. Not, not, uh, sail too far. After hours spent wandering uh, through the desert, you stumble into a lush oasis nestled against the base of a massive pyramid. You search for an entrance and finally spy one at the very top of a long staircase. Let's ascend the pyramid. Pyramid, whatever. <clears throat> it's a tough climb, but that doesn't stop you. Drenched in sweat, you finally enter the welcome shade of the room at the top of the pyramid. Alright. Really An odd's fingers fidget with the hem of his outfit, and his mouth is pressed into a thin frown. He gives you a familiar, uncertain look as if he's trying to figure out what to say. Ah, uh, you seem troubled. Care to discuss it? He rexes a little. I hope you know I have immense respect for all you've accomplished. He purses his lips and uh, around and the inevitable but. What? What? Is that it? I can't check it out. The eyes of the statue seem to follow you wherever you walk. What is this? Okay, let's go downstairs most likely because this is the top room of the pyramid. Hmm, Old Binder's Sanctum, second floor. So I suppose we're gonna find something that uh, makes that comment that? relevant. Whispers in the darkness, whispers from the grave. Do you hear that? What? Oh, would you look at this? The translucent visage of an Orlan grows, uh, glows before you. As at your approach, it shimmers. You are swallowed by a tide of bewilderment. As your mind strains toward the confused soul, the presence of other spirits begins to prick at the edge of your awareness. You sense their rage is directed not only at the bright soul, but at your intrusion. A rush of grisly images flash before you. Sadistic murders, Violent torture and worse. A din of spiteful whispers assaults your mind as the depraved souls relive their gruesome crimes. They take glee in the terror of their victims. The confusion of the bright soul lessens. Emboldened by your presence, it shines with a steady azure glow. The whispering souls retreat to the shadows. Your mind clears. You extend your perceptions to the bright soul, and it reaches out to you in turn. <clears throat> the world, slips, uh, the world slips, slips away. You wake with a start, unable to breathe. Someone covers your mouth with their hand, their grip so tight you can taste the salt in their sweat. 
your hold from your bed by two. No, three dark figures. They drag you screaming down the stairs and toss you into the road. You stumble to your feet, only to be painfully thrown back down. Taut ropes bite into the flesh of your wrists. Murderer! Accuses one. Betrayer! Shouts another. Your neighbors watch from their windows. Mouths agape. None of them come to help. They turn away as you scream their names. You feel a jolt on the back of your head and darkness envelops you. When you come to, your knees ache against cold sandstone. You betrayed nothing, killed no one. Confusion and pain swirl in each a panic plea. Hard and eyes stare back at you, though through slits in an expressionless mask. You find no reprieve in, in them. Words are spoken but lost within the rhythmic pounding in your head. This can't be happening. <clears throat> the masked figure demands justice. A sword swings and you feel the hot bite of steel against your neck. Oblivion rolls over you like a tide. Abruptly, you find yourself back in the ruin. The confused spirit pleads to you without words. It's shimmering glow, almost childlike. If you've seen what you need to see, Watcher, I'd like to fulfill my duty and reap this soul. Will you allow it? Soti raises her lantern eager. The light slices it eerily across her face. Ah, uh, go ahead! With a rattling shake, the la lantern's otherworldly light flares, and the soul is sucked inside. A hard shudder racks Soti forward, and she moans, sweat beating on her brow. Jealous whispers uh, return with renewed malice. The guilt of the dam bears down upon you, an unholy chill that sinks deep into your bones, your very marrow running cold as ice. Unnatural shadows dance in the darkness around you. Uh oh. Quite literally, we got shadows. Uh oh, more shadows? Self-defense. Hey, watch it. Let's go iconic projection. Let's do a heal. The art is about to die. That was a nice heal. What? Nice one, Elot. Definitely didn't mess this one up. Yeah, let's just take out the shadow. By the way, it's ridiculously dark in here. I don't know how we're supposed to see a damn thing. Sure. The statue decorating this small shrine has been dusted and polished to a shri to a shine to shine. So, we got this pyramid that held brutal murderers at the second floor. Except one guy. Damn. 
Damn. Is there a way to have like a, a any kind of light with us? Because damn, I don't see it. It's really hard to see uh, where to go. Oh, I can barely like hey. click around and find out where to, where to go. But still, it's not ideal. Oh, nice! Bill Grub? These fellas have ruined their last harvest. Let's get them. What? No, don't do that. Grub Burrow. This has really low, low range, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, we need to take out the grub burrow. Let's go. Well, the burrow needs to get blown up. Right, pretty good. Don't care. Just some um, grubs. Sure. Uh, scepter, robe. Obsidian. You feel a soft breeze blowing uh, through the crack in the s in the stones above. Deserted cat, Peter. Okay, we found Peter. The crush of time has significantly weakened the section of wall. You feel a slight breeze coming uh, through the cracks between the stone. You suspect that the wall will come right down with a little bit of force. Attempt to break down the wall? Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Watcher charges into the wall, but it doesn't bolt, budge. A watcher stumbles back, grimacing in pain. Uh oh. Use the pry bar. You start to put leverage on the pry bar and, and, and the wall begins to tremble. If you continue, there will be no way to get out of the way without collapsing the wall on yourself. S what? Stop using the pry bar? Do I really wanna collapse the wall on myself? Let's use the pry bar. Keep pulling. You manage to pull the wall down, but it collapses right on top of you. Watcher was injured. Yeah, that would be a nice thing to do. We rest. Get rid of the injuries. Hopefully all the injuries. I don't know if it gets rid of all the injuries. But as far as I know, if you get three injuries, you die. Because it seemed to... Or maybe if you get four injuries, you die. It probably makes more sense that way. Because it seems like it has a place for free injuries. Uh, okay. Okay, let's just keep going down. I can level up some of the characters, but not all of them. Should I do it right now?
All right, let's do it. Arcana. Let's see what we have. Seven. So the party has seven points in that. Party doesn't have a lot of points in Arcana. Uh, or explosives. Or mechanics. She really likes mechanics. And Arcana is, uh, I suppose, a nice one to go for. Sleight of hand. So I think we're gonna stick with mechanics and arcana. I just go with mechanics. History. Yeah. Zero points. She's the best at history. She's definitely the best at insight. Don't go for metaphysics. So, she is going for metaphysics, history, and insight at this point. Yeah, that's very comparable. Let's go for metaphysics. Okay, what do I pick up here? Arcane Dampener? Sick and terrified. Maybe I should go for the bounding missiles. Because it seems like a uh, one that we can actually. Well, the AI can use uh, well enough. Without completely mucking it up. Crackling Bolt is interesting as well. It only bounces off walls. I think I'm just gonna go with the bounding missiles. Okay. I probably need to hotkey that now. Also, this ray of fire really didn't work out as uh, well as hoped. Okay, Eder, yeah. he wants to level up. So, what we go with? Streetwise? Yeah, he's tied with uh, the new guy. Survival, Intimidate, only he has Intimidate, so I guess I'm gonna be pumping Intimidate. Explosive or Athletics, I guess I'm just gonna pump Athletics for him. Mm, what do we go in? Like, going for plus points. Plus one um, is engaged, that's not too bad. It's into crits. Now, do I wanna... Intuitive Inspiration. Grace to hit. It's converted to crits. That seems decent, but less relevant for a tank. Most definitely. Graze is converted to hits with proficient weapons.
Equip shields deflex uh, deflection bonus increased and grants equal bonus to the character's reflex. While wielding one while wielding a single one-handed weapon, some of the attacker's hits are converted to crits. But does it say anything wielding shields? Maybe it's maybe it would be too good. I don't know if it if it applies. I just pick it up. I think he might. All right, let's go. Sure. Oh boy. Slog zone. Can I just blow them up. Oh, what are you guys doing? Don't get in there. Go kill the lesser ruse. Come on, we need to retarget that. All right. Say your prayer. That's it. Sure. Yeah, you need to heal yourself. Like what yesterday. Why not? Mm. It's a weird fight. Sure. I wonder if these places could actually have uh, quests uh, tied to them. Am I supposed to just, uh, I don't know, somewhat stick uh, with the main mission? Sleight of hand? I'm just going for sleight of hand and stealth. <clears throat> Choose an ability for one class only. That's a good question. I already have blind. From uh, wizard. Do I really wanna spend? Weapon and shield style. I already have two weapon style. One handed style. Rook dirty fighting. Hits converted to crits. That seems good. <sighs> I might pick that up. Spellblade, yeah. It does very much matter what kind of uh, abilities you pick up. So, she has the highest Diplo in the party. Plus two from the party, which is weird. How does it work? I, I assume that it's rounded up. Because when it comes to history, she has two, plus the party has five, so it counts as five. 
So it's plus three from the party. It's plus three from the party. Plus two from the party. Like, like for in in this case. Okay. As long as the first two points count. Fully. Five points. Uh, instead of five points, you get... You get only, uh... Three. Instead of eight points, you only get four. Instead of four points, you get only three. Zero from the party. But party having one or two points seem to fully uh, add up. Okay, Diplo, history. Religion, survival. Like in the case of religion, also no one else is pumping points into religion. I just go with religion. Do I want alchemy? I just keep pu putting points into alchemy. So this is a weird, a little bit weird system where <clears throat> you kind of want to specialize your characters, but also having extra points from other characters is not bad. Smart. Uh, okay. While wielding one-handed weapons, some of the attacker's hits are converted to crits. That's good. I already picked up a lot of abilities here. Maybe we're gonna do that? Or start the combat with concentration? That's good too, I guess. Wild Thorns. Let's start the combat with concentration. Captain. So, in this case, yeah, he has eight stealth, but only five sleight of hand. Mechanics. Athletics. Maybe we're gonna go for like plus one athletics with him. That's gonna actually make uh, Adder's athletics better. Bluff. Great. Insight. Pretty good streetwise. I can also go for a little bit more religion. Psychic backlash. That's only one spur combat, but it's not bad. Training whip. So, we already have Puppet Master. Do I want anything else here? I don't know. Psychic Backslash could be nice, but I don't think it's gonna see much use in, in most fights. So, can't say I'm 
too eager to go for that. Pain block. Robust. Constitution, armor rating and health restored by 3, three seconds. That's good. We can also just gain concentration at the start of each combat. Okay, let's do that. Damn. Boy. Okay. Whoa, this so repaid me. Wow, 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 wow. What? You want to charm one of them? Holy crap. We need to charm more than one. Go black. Okay, let's blind some of them. Okay, also, don't go for extra speed. What? Are you killing yourself now? Uh, he didn't kill himself yet. What are you doing? Why are you running? Just, just do the heal. Like I ordered you. What's the range of this thing? Yeah, it didn't work out that well. Stop this! Bewildering spectacle. I hope nobody saw that. Careful. That sounds better than it actually uh it actually works out. Can we just do heal? Oh. Elot, what the fuck are you doing? I need to check his AI. Does it say dumbass? Okay. You're out the spells. Stuck over here. No rush. But if you have any antidotes, Andy, I'd be much obliged. So what's the big difference between dominated and charmed? Cannot use act active abilities, but dominated uses everything. Pretty good damage. Yeah. Bunch of uh, Xorips. I hear you. Sure. Okay. Extra deflection against melee weapons. Whoa, what is this? Ordinary one-handed sword. Additional effects. More damage, accuracy, and penetration. And fine shield and fine male armor. I just 
give it all to him and maybe he's gonna use it. Or maybe not the fine male armor because he does have a really good armor. So... Let's replace that. Ordinary sword. It's gotta be better than the... Saber. Yeah, that's just better. What are you doing? Plus enemies engaged and more deflection. Great! That's it? Oh no, Elad, you shouldn't be the one to pick up things. I guess I need to fix that. Meditation chamber. So, what's going on around here? Yeah, I don't know, it wasn't really... Easy to tell that that is the meditation chamber. Uh-oh, trap detected. Good thing I have pause. Now, I'm oh, what are you doing? All right, I swear. We took injuries for that? Oh my god. Leave it to me. Stop. Do you look at this? Sure. It's mine. Stop. Now. It's so bloody dark. Without the highlighting. I don't know. Do you look at this? We would see nothing. We got trouble, folk. Broadcast. Ooh. Okay. Huh? Now it's time to whip out the <laughs> immune to poison. Warm puddle. Okay, I need to go for his speed. What's the range of this thing? 10 meters. Oh, I guess that's fine. You can just put down another one. I'm gonna get out of it. Broadcast, come on, get out of my face. Alright, that worked out relatively well. No, oh, disgusting. Uh, now nah, we're gonna put it in the stash. Some kind of oil. The water royals with the teeming of countless tiny maggots. Delicious. Who's thirsty? It's mine now. Wow. So easy to spot. I don't even know what it opened. Am I supposed to bump the brightness of the game? Am I, am I missing something? Is there like a, hey, uh, use some torches thing? What is this? Mm. Quick items. Do we have that? No. Consumables, maybe a torch? Ah. <sighs> 
Well, it's not clothing. Food and drink. Torch. It can be a quick item. Like, for example, we have a torch equipped with that. I'm not so sure about the hotkey of weapon switching. Do I even have it? Boy. Should I look into it? Weapon switch. Weapon switch. <laughs> Come on, game. Do we even have that? Oh, I, I did see it. That was a switch weapon set. Unbound. I don't know what key I can bound it to. Is there anything on L? Save, yeah. Let's save changes. Oh, nice! Finally! What for, Cap? Bye. Okay. A light's foot and an heavy ball. At least one person should use it. Ahoy. Don't I don't really make a habit of uh, switching my weapons. I definitely don't need the entire party to switch their weapons. Intervene or watch the scene play out. Was in the will of the Steel Garot, you will meet justice. Kneel, Oswald, and be tried for your crimes. Wait! I can pay you. I can make you all rich. Just, just, just let me go. Your bribes fall on deaf ears. Never were for the court. We seek only to Always exact what it is justice. justice. Huh? What? I, I didn't do anything. You stand accused of the crime of. O As you enter the locked chamber at the bottom of the pyramid, you notice a sizable group of well-armed people dressed in raiments of the Steel Garrett. In the center of uh, the group kneels a man bound at the wrists. He looks around wildly, his eyes widening when they fall on you. Before the kneeling man towers an imposing woman, her face obscured by the severe lines of uh, a Wodekan mask. You intrude on the deliberations of the court of Wodeka, outsider. Choose your next actions carefully, lest the queen that was turn her gaze to you as well. The man on the floor is an elderly elf clad in dirty clothes, his face contorted in the expression of a cornered animal. Oh, thank the gods, please! Get me out of here, they're mad! They're all mad! Okay, I need more information. They mean to put me on trial for oath-breaking of all things. They say I betrayed the Idiran Empire, but I haven't been back there in, in over a hundred years. Be silent, or I will make you so. The Inquisitor snarls at Oswald. State your purpose now, or die with him. She turns her steely gaze on you. Uh, through the slits in her mask, you can see the giant... No, the glint of her eyes. Wow. Cross your arms and scowl. Did you condemn the innocent out of spite or mere incompetence? Wow, is there a option to keep watching? I guess there was. Uh, let's just uh, say the first line. Did you condemn the innocent out of spite or mere incompetence? The Inquisitor bristles at your impertinent question. She grabs her sword hilt and begins to step forward, but stops herself, suddenly uncertain. Her followers share pointed looks, 
with one another and say nothing to challenge or defend her. Explain. Letter creaks as the Inquisitor's hand tightens on the hilt of her sword. I'm Watcher. I've con uh, conversed with the tortured souls that met your justice. Not all were guilty. It is true! That's a really good point! Ah, the Watcher of Cadnua graces our presence. Your deeds are well known to this court. Her tone is dangerously short. Those that attempt to lie to me find I am not easily fooled. Tell me, Watcher, how many of these souls do you claim were innocent? One. I know of one, so far. She stares at you intently for several moments, her eyes as unreadable as the mask that hides her features. Even should you speak truthfully, you must see the wisdom of these proceedings. Imagine the greater good achieved by dispensing the reckoning this filth deserves. Would you prefer these monsters walk free at the expense of the truly innocent? <sighs> this is a good dilemma to post to people. Like, how many innocent people are you willing to punish or like kill? Just, just that you get some guilty ones. Like, you might say like none at first, but... I suppose it's a tough line to walk. And who holds them accountable for serving the greater good? Who ensures they do not become the same as those they hunt? Theos also believed he was an authority unto himself, and he wielded that authority to the detriment of many, many people. The faint trace of a smile forms on Edder's lips. What about this man? A death sentence for oath-breaking is extreme. Oath-breakers are the bane of the McQuinn, my queen. A benign enough crime on the surface, but an oath broken plants the seed of far greater atrocities. Families are torn asunder with a broken vow. Cities fall to ruin upon promises abandoned. What war has not been birthed in treachery? Take this one. She points at Oswald. He forsook oaths to Emperor and country both to fight amongst rebels in the War of Defiance. How many lives might have been spared without treason such as his? No, Watcher. Without one's word, one is nothing. Less than nothing. Would you give your life to defend one such as he? Well... Maybe not, because I don't care that much about him. A pile and an half of gold shit, Cap. An oath be only so binding as the worth of the person you swore it to. That's a very good point, Seraphim. You know, if you just swear your oath to a system that you don't believe in, well, that's just just worthless oath. Probably you ha you have to you had to make, or at least on some level you were forced to make. I see only vigilante justice. Any mistake in your judgment proves my point. You have no authority in the court of Wurika. Only the queen that was holds sway here. I pray your soul learns from your mistakes on its next turn about the wheel. Ready to brawl? Ah. Uh-oh. How strong are these guys? Really hope they are weaker than they seem.
She's paralyzed for two more seconds. Oh, the healer is gone. Just take out Vodica's agent. We need to puppet muster some of them. Why are you not doing it? Immobilized. Okay, we might be able to win this. It's a tough fight. Well, might work. Okay, some of them are confused and might hit their own guys. Charm, that's nice. I suppose the fan of flames is kind of harder to pull off. Nice one, they're falling on their asses all the time. We just take this guy, what is agent? Okay, she's almost out of uh no, 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 I actually made a mistake with that. The Bewildering Spectacle, let's do that. Inquisitor of Bloodvin. Possibility that heals uh, at there is pretty damn good. <laughs> Perception, religion, and insight. Some kind of uh, mask. That's an interesting uh, boost to the party. So she can use this mask, but I don't want to uh, actually cover up her face. Wow, isn't this? So what do we have here? Sword of Firebrand, Psalm to Vodica. Where's the guy? Hey Oswald. Now she blows and blow. Boy. I owe you a debt too large to repay, stranger. Well, no, no, that is too large to repay. You just give me all your money. He wrings his hands and gives you a shaky smile. How did you ever find me all the way out here? Did Inalice send you? I want to get paid. Let's shrug. Whether by providence or chance, I thank the gods you found me when you did. Those steel garrot zealots have been after me for decades. Good riddance. So about my reward. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> His attention is suddenly diverted by an apparently fascinating stain on the hem of his robe. You're broke, aren't you? Yes. Unfortunate business mishap. You um, know how it is, I'm sure. He titters nervously and twists the hem of his robe in his hands, unwilling to meet your eye.
Oh, chip for more information. Can I just talk with somebody else? Seems like it's very important that the main character has the talky skills. So I came all the way out here for nothing. Well, not nothing. You did save my life after all. Perhaps I could uh, make it up to you. You have a ship, yes? Of course you do. How else would you have gotten to this benighted island? He shifts his... His weight from foot to foot, restless and unsettled. Let me join your crew. What could you offer as a member of my crew? Why did the Inquisitor have you on trial, exactly? After what you did for me, well, I, I suppose you have the right to hear the truth of things. The whole truth, rather. Oswald clears his throat with a theatrical flair. You remember that the Deerwood was once a colony of Adia, yes? Well, I was one of the first colonists to set foot on that benighted continent. When it became evident the Deerwood intended to revolt, I took their side in the War of Defiance against the country of my birth. I'm sure you'll be astounded to learn the powers that be in Adia didn't much like that. The Steel garot has been after me for my grave transgression ever since. That was over 150 years ago. They've been hunting you all this time. Those Steel garot hounds are relentless. But it should be a couple of years before they find me again, thanks to you, at least. I hope as much. What could you offer as a member of my crew? It's no secret I'm an old man. Now, I might not be able to hoist a mainsail any longer, but I've picked up a thing or two about navigation in my decades of traveling. He bounces back on his heels, every word coming faster than the next. And I don't care much for coin, I can tell you that. An extra ration of rum here and there, and I'll be perfectly contented. Welcome aboard! Thank you, my friend. I owe you a debt twice over. He gives you a, toot a tootly grin and uh, stands a hand's uh, breadth taller. Great! You don't want to get paid? Come on, man. First rule. I'm the one who's pressing the things. Not you. This guy needs to learn the lesson. So I might want the main character to pick up the conversation skills. More so than the... Yeah, because she's gonna be the one who's talking. Like in the scenario. She couldn't use intimidate. I just get out of this place. Wow. Oh, for saving an old man. Well, if the, this is the whole truth, then I and I clearly stand by my decision to save this old man. I suppose I don't care too much about oath breaking. Great sword. Okay. Uh, let's leave this island. Looks like we're not gonna name it. Wait, can I check out the ship? Eld Engram. We don't know about how much money he needs. What? What do you need known sailors? All right. So I can fire some of my sailors. And uh, that's it. We need to go back to a shipyard. Irina is a cook. Surgeon, great. Eldengrim, <laughs> you. <laughs> we might have to kick him out. 
I'm sure about that. Cannoneer. Great. Helmsman. What is he good at? I don't know. Mother Sharp Rock. Whatever. Uh, let's get out of this place. We need to find the port. Not sure where though. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.